Hey y'all, hey. Today I want to share with you a few good notes, tips, and tricks that I think everyone should know. These tips will definitely be helpful, especially if you're new to using good notes. So feel free to take what you need and leave the rest. If you have any additional tips that you would like to share, please leave them in the comments below. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, let's start with the magnifier. This tool can be used to improve your handwriting. You can move the box to the area that you want to write and then just put your text in the larger box below. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but you can erase just the highlighter and not erase everything and start over from scratch. All you have to do is toggle on the erase highlighter only under the eraser and you can remove the highlighter from text without having to redo everything. Huge time saver. Let me show you how to create a shadow effect using your text tool in GoodNotes. Use the lasso tool to copy and change the color of the text and then layer it back on the original text for your desired look. And here's another tip for you. If you tap on the screen twice, you can undo. Now, one thing we all know is that your handwriting is not the same on the iPad as it is using a pen and paper. With practice and time, your handwriting will improve, but here is a trick that will help you in the meantime. Now, this will only work if you have the full version of GoodNotes. Use the lasso tool to circle your text, hold in the circle, and select Convert from the toolbar. In the pop-up window, make sure all of your words are converted correctly. If you have any that weren't converted, this is the time that you can make any corrections that you need. Use the export icon at the top right corner and copy the text. Now delete the handwritten text and paste the new text. The messy text is gone. Now that you have your text converted, if you want to line the text up with the lines on your template, you can use the paragraph spacing to adjust the text. This next feature may be one of my favorite go-to's when I'm writing in a hurry. I use the scribble feature on the iPad. This feature converts your handwriting to text as you write. To turn on the scribble feature, go to the settings and Apple Pencil. Then toggle on scribble. Now when you use the text in GoodNotes, your writing will automatically convert to the text that you have set as your default. Speaking of default text, have you ever been writing in good notes in one text area or in the text box and you move to another section or a page and the text changes and it's not what you were just writing with? Yeah, it gets on my nerves too. We're going to fix that today. After you've selected the font and the size that you want your text, go back to the text icon and double tap, then select save as default from the drop down. Now your text will stay the same until you change it. You can also hold on the text and use the pop up toolbar to change the color. You might come across a template in your planner that is almost what you need, but not quite. You can make changes to the template and customize it to your needs. Use the lasso tool to draw a circle in the blank area of your planner. Select in the circle and take the screenshot. Now copy and paste the screenshot and you can adjust the size to cover whatever it is that you want to cover on the template. Here's a bonus tip. You can also take screenshots of different sections of templates in your planner and use them to customize your templates.
You can use the shape tool to perfect your shapes. Tap the shape to resize. You can also erase the background or the outline of the shape. And by toggling on the draw and hold feature in your pen, you can use your pen now to draw straight lines. Lasso tool can be used to move everything or you can choose what you want to select. By toggling off handwriting or text boxes, you can move just the image or by toggling on images, you can move just the words. Have you ever tried to move a sticker you already had on your template to layer it on a new one? Yeah, it's a fail. For this, there's a workaround. You have to cut the previous sticker and repaste it and you'll be able to layer your stickers. Okay, last tip. Here's how to close multiple tabs in GoodNotes. Select the icon at the top right of the tab and then close other tabs from the dropdown. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found some of these tips useful and found some ways to improve your experience with GoodNotes. If there's anything you would like me to go over, leave it in the comments. I'm gonna do a plan with me for February, so I'll be seeing you soon. Until next time.